PC man. Oh, he's got spaghetti on his head. Beauchamp? <laughs> Don't know what just happened there. Uh, ba -ba 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 <gasps> Did you see that? Look at my party! I broke the game. It's like not working anymore. Ah! We came forth! He hello? All right, I'm not good at riding horses. <laughs> oh, I'm in love already. Okay. <laughs> Hello friends and welcome to the Ranch of Rivershine demo. If you'd like to play this game for yourself, you can do so via the link down below. You can go through Steam to get the demo of this game. And of course, since it's a demo, it won't be 100% finished or flawless. Uh, let me know your thoughts on this game uh, down below. And if you'd like to give direct feedback, you can go to the Steam page as well. But I am so, so excited for this game uh, because it's a like relaxing, cozy, like cute game. It's made by Cozy Be Game which is uh, Eloise's company. She's an amazing developer and I think this is really gonna fill um, a gap that has appeared in the market for like cute, cozy horse theme games. Um, now, as you can see here, it says spring one year one. I'm pretty sure there will be seasons in the game, but for the demo, we only have spring. So no worries, we'll jump into that. And we are in the character creation. So there are, yes, there are two body types. This is like the feminine one and this is the more masculine one. Um, I will go for the, the feminine one and we'll make her super pale because that is what I am. Now we're fixing the eyebrows. I have quite bushy eyebrows, so I think I'll go for these. Um, oh, we can change the hairstyle. I feel like ever since the Equestrian the Game video, I've been so skeptical about hair in general, especially in these like horse games. But despite the fact that it is like low poly because uh, it's not meant to be hyper realistic. The hair works really well and I don't know if you saw that it like kind of wiggles because it's got um, like physics to it which I really really love. I think I'll go for this plaited look because that's adorable and we could change the hair color as well. I'll go for this light brown. Pants, uh... <gasps> there's overalls! They're so cute! Okay so we've got blue green or brown overalls. I think I might go, I definitely want the overalls. I'll go for blue overalls and change the boots as well. Okay, there's only two boot colors, which is brown and black. Um, but now we can put in our name, which is Abigail. That's perfect, okay. Oh, she's so cute, I love her so much. Okay, I'm so excited for this. And we're in, oh my goodness. The world is so cute. This world is so adorable. <gasps> There's a waterfall! Oh, oh look, <laughs> I run like I've got a, such a spring in my step. That's so cute. We look like such a farmer with our like pigtails and like blue overalls. I love that. Um, so new beginnings, explore the town and find Madeleine Beauchamp. Bo it's a French made game. So it's probably Beauchamp, Beauchamp. I, I'm just gonna say Beauchamp, um, who invited you to Rivershine. I assume this is you. Hi, Madeline. Oh, Abigail, I'm pleased to see you here. Please allow me to extend you a warm welcome to Rivershine. We've all been eagerly anticipating your arrival, Abigail. The entire town has been working diligently to restore the ranch for you. Wow, that's very nice of them. Well, everyone who remains at any rate. The past few years have been quite a challenge for our community, to say the least. That's sad, what's happened? However, now that you're here and we have our very own champion to represent Rivershine once again, I'm confident the better days lie ahead. I mean, I, I don't have a horse, but I'll be your champion, sure. Of course, you're not a champion yet, Abigail, especially since you arrived here on foot. Oh, was I supposed to bring a horse? Fortunately, I've arranged a horse traders to participate in a grand reopening of the auction house today. While we don't currently have many horses available, I'm sure I'll be able to offer you a greater variety in the future. If you see a horse that catches your eye, be sure to bid on it. It may take a few rounds to win, but don't worry. If you truly want a horse and have the funds for it, I'm confident you'll be able to obtain it. Um, if I may offer you some advice on choosing your first horse, of course, you should choose a horse with a coat that you like, but also consider their skill levels. Their jump speed, endurance and flexibility will all impact their performance. All of these skills can be improved based on a horse's potential. Therefore, if you plan to train your horse, it might be best to purchase one with a high potential, even if the other skills are currently lacking. Don't worry too much about their name either, you can change that later. I'm thrilled to see which horse you choose, Abigail. I'll see you in the horse auction when you're ready. Wow, that was a lot of information um, right off the bat, but I think it was important information. So we're gonna go pick our first horse, which I love that it's like an auction setting because instead of just like being just gifted a horse, like we actually go and have to go and buy a horse. So let's go in here. 
Oh, we're just starting. Okay, right. <gasps> Cute! Okay. I kind of want like a white horse or like a palomino or a paint or something. I'm hoping that a cute horse will come up, but I'm not sure. Water marigold. Oh, this one's actually super cute. That one's actually adorable, but it's not the one I'm looking for. I think I'll scroll through quite a few of them, but I don't know if it's like limited in how many horses are going to come through. I hope not. The chestnuts are the cutest, I think. I do like bays normally, but I feel like the chestnuts are calling my name. Like, this one's so cute, but I'm gonna have to pass. Oh, it's a bald face! It's so cute! Pass, though. No, no, I want... I want something... I don't know. None of them are speaking to me. I was told to, to choose a horse that I want. <gasps> Chunky coconut. This is it. This is the horse I want. Please let me win. Yay! I want the horse. Oh, the horse is so cute. Okay. You, uh, ah, lovely. Uh, I can read. Ah, your horse is a lovely choice, Abigail. I have no doubt that you will make a formidable pair. Now you have acquired your horse, I recommend visiting our trainer, River. I've informed her that you'll be arriving as she has prepared a lesson for you. You'll find R River in the outdoor arena. Just go down the hill from the auction. Oh, and don't forget to lead your horse to the arena. Okay. <gasps> Hi! Oh, this horse is so cute! <gasps> it's adorable! Okay, uh, E to interact. Oh no, E to lead. Okay. <gasps> oh, I just got beat up by a horse. Let me go. Oh, it's so cute! Wait, can I pull it? Ah, it's so cute! Look at us go! I actually love this. Let's go, pony! Hi, River! Oh my goodness, River looks so cool! River, you are awesome. Well, well, if it isn't River Shine's next cross-country champion. It's nice to meet you, Abigail. Oh, and who do you have here with you? Chunky Coconut. <laughs> I'm sure you'll both go far together. I'm River. I usually work with Madeline or... Wait. I bet it's not Madeline. I bet it's Madeleine. Because it's French. Am I going to be made fun of now? Madeleine. To help her find and train horses for the auction. But she asked me to take some time to prepare a lesson for you and get you acquainted with your new partner. Now let's get you riding. It'll be even easier to explain once you're on, on Chunky Coconut. Just stand next to your horse and mount when you're ready. Okay. E to mount. Oh. Oh. Okay. So the horse is attached to my mouse. That's kind of weird. I don't know how I feel about that. So if I press W to start walking forward. Okay. Um... I don't know if I'm the biggest fan of, of, of the uh, looking where you're going thing. Okay, slow down by tapping S or hold it down. Or hold it to break down quickly. <gasps> oh. Oh. Press left alt to change your view to free camera. Oh. Okay, that's nice. I, I was going to complain about that, but I'm glad that you can, like, move the camera and actually see your horse. So while we're here... I want to take a look at the animations. Uh, first thing that kind of jumps to my attention is the fact that the horse's walk um, cycle is actually moving faster. Uh, so you can see like the hooves kind of slide along the ground. So that's probably just a small tweak that needs um, changing. Let's look at the trot. Um, there's a little bit of problem with the... Uh, I need to actually learn the terminology, but like the, ang the horse ankles, they just... They, they seem a little bit stiff. Is it more on this side? Yeah, it's a lot more on this side, actually. Um, if you look at that front hoof there. Uh, and the the legs in general just seem really stiff. That's the only thing that I um, can kind of complain about. However, I do have to commend the hair. The hair is moving really nicely um, for, like, low poly hair, which is really, really nice to see. Let's see the canter. I like the canter better, to be honest. The, the canter seems a lot more fluid. It's just when it reaches that sort of peak where the, both knees are sort of like up in the air, it seems to like come back down a little bit too quickly. Let's see the gallop. The gallop's nicest, I think. I think the gallop works the best. Obviously, we've got stamina down the bottom. Um, overall, I think the horse suffers a little bit from stiffness, uh, especially in 
yeah, especially in the trot. I think it's it's quite prevalent in the trot. Uh, a little bit in the canter. The walk cycle itself is really nice. I love the, the animation. It's just, it does slide. I can see when I focus on the hooves. It does slide a bit along. Um, and the, and the uh, player looks pretty good as well. Press left alt again to recenter your camera view. Okay, I doubt I'll be spending a lot of time in this mode because it's just... It's not for me, I don't think. And now that you've learned the basics, I'll add a few jumps to the arena. Don't worry, I'll keep the obstacles small. For now. Okay, that's fine. So we're doing our kind of lesson. To help Chunky Coconut um, jump well, speed to a trot or faster. Make sure your horse faces the obstacle straight on and when you're close enough, jump it. Remember that it's easier to prepare obstacles correctly when you're approaching it slowly. So if Chunky Coconut refuses to jump, make sure to take your time when you try it again. All right. So, how does this work? So she said a minimum of a trot, so we'll just keep it at a trot. Oh! Oh, it's on the floor that you see. Let me have a look at that, hang on. Interesting. So I both like and dislike that, and I will tell you why. Um, I dislike it because it means that I'm looking down at the jump, uh, and if you take real life horse lessons, you will know that your instructor would have a fit if you looked down at the jump every time you were like going over it and approaching it. Um, you're supposed to like look at the jump and then look like beyond the jump. Um, however, I also like it because it means that there's not like a floating arrow up in the sky and it's not like in your face. So I both like it and dislike it for different reasons. Maybe let me know what you think of it in the comments. Um, and it all, it's also really nice when I approach it sort of, let me see it here. Like I approach it at an angle, it, it, the red section is like, oh, if you come too, too close at an angle, you're going to fail the jump, which is nice. Um, so I both like and dislike it. I think if, you're go if you are want to really be pernickety about realism, you're not gonna like it. Um, however, for game mechanics, it's not too bad. I actually kind of, I think it's nice. It's different to put it, oh, what has happened here? Oh, hello? Hello? Oh, okay. It, <laughs> I think there was like an invisible wall there or something. Oh, um, okay. <laughs> Don't know what just happened there, but um, I got a bit stuck, but that's fine. On we go. Chunky Coconut and I are going to go on an adventure. Now I came over here because I, I saw the horses. Oh, it looks like um, a b -b 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 Baylock. That's so cute. <gasps> and a blue roan. They're so cute. Oh, actually, I forgot to sort of have a look at the actual model of the horse. That's kind of important. Oh, God. Hang on. Eh. Let me just move the camera around. God, why is it suddenly so low? Okay, there we go. Um, so the actual model, I am a really big fan of. I love everything about this model, actually. Overall, this model is really, really nice. I think some people might not like it because of the lack of detail. <gasps> Did you see that? She took her, she took her little feedsies out of the stirrups and gave it a stretch. See, it's the little things that impress me. It really is, the little things that impress me. I like that so much. Uh, the tack fits really well as well. Um, and I'm seeing ear movements in the horse as well. So honestly, I really like this so far. I think, again, the animations need a little bit of tweaking, uh, maybe a little bit of fluidity in them. Um, but again, like it's not the end of the world. It's still a super cool, Super cute game, I should say. Oh, look, it's a man. It's an NPC man. Oh, he's got spaghetti on his head. Wow, that um, that yellow look is very, um, it's giving, it's giving noodle. Cool. All right, uh, let's go ahead and mount. And I assume we're just going to our ranch now. Now, I do wonder, is it going to be a kind of like grandfather left you the ranch and it's kind of abandoned looking? Um, or is it going to be like, here's a full full ranch already <gasps> oh my goodness it's gorgeous wow i'm actually quite i'm a little bit stunned it's so pretty here it's huge actually wow is that an arena over there so we have an arena loads of like pastures and paddocks and whatnot uh I assume this is the barn, um, and that's my house. <gasps> it's stunning here. Okay, so it doesn't appear to be that I have to like upgrade or like build anything straight away, which is cool. Bring your horse in the stables and settle them in their new stall. Got it. Let's go, oh. Okay, so there's a, there's like a loading screen there. Wait, this is such a cute like screenshot. Oh, 
That's adorable! That's so cute! Oh, I'm in love already. Okay. Ooh, okay. So, wow, there's actually a lot here. So, Chunky Coconut, Stallion, Healthy Adult. We've got Health, Energy, which is normal, Satiety, Feed hay or grain once a day to increase your horse's satiety if your horse is left in pasture they don't need to be fed is that like you know how with real horses you have to um like you have to uh, give them hay otherwise they could like possibly colic and they have to make sure that they've always got food in their stomachs basically is that what that is wow that's something i've never seen in a game that's nice so we can actually take it all off that's nice Again, tiny things. You don't normally get to untack your horses, but I love that. Really cute. Okay, uh, we can send to pasture. <gasps> the horse is out here in the pasture. I don't think I can run any faster. I think this is my top speed. Look at my pony. It's so cute. Chunky coconut, I love you. I love that. Okay, so I have to go back to my house and sleep for the night. Now, I have to admit, so far, the game is wonderful but it's giving stardew valley and if you like stardew valley i'm sure you'll love this game just like the little thing of like oh the town's not quite the same but now that you've moved here the town is gonna get like better and happier um even <laughs> even the house looks like the starter house in just stardew valley that's so cute i love that again that's not a uh, criticism that is uh, a compliment because stardew valley is an amazing game and um if we can have a horse based stardew valley in 3d I'll take it. So as you are, ah, okay, as you can see, it says Tuesday, spring two, which means it's the second day of spring. Oh, hello, flower fences. Hi, Abigail, hope you had a good nice rest because we have a busy day ahead. Why don't you come by my shop? I'll get you set up with a new training course to participate with your horse. You have a first competition to get ready for, River. I do wonder if we can like place objects and whatnot in, I wonder if there's a farming element as well. That would be cool. That would be really cool if there was a farming element. Oh, my horse is out in the paddock. Okay, I was like, I think my horse is gone. Hello, chunky coconuts. You're so cute. I love you. Okay, um, can I F to lead? <gasps> there's a rope bridle. Oh, sorry. Oh, there's, it has a rope bridle. That's so cute. I, w w that's just adorable. Okay, River, hello. I'm here for my lesson. Can I come in your heart? Oh, hi. Hi, River. She's so cool looking. Um, can I talk? Oh, I'm supposed to buy the beginner flower fence. Okay, purchase. Yay. Okay, so back up. Can we... Can I... I think I broke something. Oh, I broke something. I, I broke the game. It's like not working anymore. So I can like mount up, but I can't like access any menus or use any other hotkeys. Okay, I might need to really quickly relog. Okay, that is a little bit annoying. The game like, oh, the game bugged and um, I had to alt F4. So uh, I was sent back to my house. So um, I'm gonna super speed it over there. <laughs> okay. So I now have unlocked a new course and it does appear my game has not broken so I don't know what I did the first time that broke it uh, but me and chunky coconut are about to do a thing actually let's try and have a look at the jump animation Ooh, there's something off about it um, I'm not entirely sure what I'll probably be able to tell you and when... yeah it's something about the front legs I think yeah, there's something slightly off about it. I can't quite, ah, I can't quite put my finger on it. Uh, but it definitely is also lacking that fluidity. Oh goodness, I am not doing this course properly. I think these are just warm up courses, so it's fine. It's, it's fine. Ah! All right, I'm not good at riding horses. <laughs> All righty, day numero three. Greetings, Abiel. I'm so happy to hear from River that you've been training hard. I might be getting a bit ahead of myself, but if you're feeling ready and believe you can place in top four, come and sign up at the competition board in town and we'll have the official inauguration of Rivershine's competitors, Madeline. Thank you so much, Madeline. So we're going to do our first competition today. So one thing I do really like about this game is, as you can see above the gate 
um, like meter, if you will. It says speed because I'm cantering. And if I kind of turn, I'll improve my flexibility. And obviously if I'm jumping, that's when I improve my jump. Uh, the reason I like that so much is because I, I'm so sorry, I'm going to use Star Stable as uh, an example here where uh, instead of having your horse only kind of gain XP through doing things, which means like training it or, you know, doing races, doing championships, the horse is naturally gaining sort of experience and uh, leveling up as we go around the world, which is, again, not something many games do, but I'm really enjoying that because it just means that I don't have to necessarily like worry about how much training I'm doing because I'm just doing it as I'm going. Uh, which is nice. Look at a pony! There's a pony statue. Uh, I assume this is the competition board. Madeleine says, I'm sure you'll surpass your previous best time today, Abigail. Well, considering I have not had a best time, I hope so. <laughs> oh, there's money! Oh, I want money. Okay, we're gonna go for first because we're awesome. Let's go. That looks awesome anyway. Oh, here we go. Two, one. Speed! Maybe I shouldn't be speeding, I've just realized. Okay, um, how about I, mm, canter's very slow. Uh, we'll gallop and then we'll do like a trot in the town. Ugh, okay, everything's fine. Um, it's nice though, I also like the fact that the arrow is on the floor. It's sort of not very opaque and, ah! Uh, and it's on the floor, which means it's not right in front of my face, which is nice. I have to say, this game has one of the nicest UIs I have seen um, in a long time. Like it has really beautiful, everything's sort of tucked away neatly. Everything's like, it works together really well. Just mwah, beautiful, beautiful UI. We came fourth. Okay, I was hoping for number one, but that's fine. There's quite a big difference between um, three, four and five with the times difference, but we have got a hundred dollars, so I'll take it. Hi, Madeline. Madeline. <laughs> Greetings, Abigail. I hope you're well on this fine day. Let's do the quest. I was impressive performance, Abigail. I offer you my congratulations on inaugurating our town's first competition. Well, it's not exactly our town's first competition, but it certainly has been a few years since we last hosted one. I'm delighted to have you here, Abigail. Truly, it's only a little sad to us to have a new champion. What happened to the last one? Riverstone used to host the most famous competitions. It was a source of pride for our town and attracted many travelers. Unfortunately, our champion left town after her last horse grew too old to compete. She could not bring herself to continue without them and instead decided to create statues to honor them. That's so sweet and sad. You can see on our town square the first statue she made for her horse, Wild Sprout. We're quite lucky to... Wait, did you see the statue glow a little just now? Ah, silly me. I think it's my imagination getting the best of me these days. Regardless, I'm very proud of you and Chunky Coconut for your per performance today. I'm sure everyone in town agrees with me. I know you've already won a prize, but I wanted to give you a little extra to celebrate your achievement. Please use it wisely. If you'd like to compete again, please don't hesitate to speak with me. That's so sad about the last champion, though. Oh. Okay. Ooh, let me see the statue. Oh, it is sparkling. She wasn't wrong about that. It is sparkling. Oh, that's so sad though. And sweet at the same time. Oh, look, it's, oh, wait, hang on. I'll have a look at this. So if you're static, yeah, I think the sliding is probably worse here. <laughs> I'm gonna go out on a limb and say that the sliding might be a little bit worse here. Uh, it might look a lot better if the horse crossed legs, although I can imagine that that's a bit of a pain to get done. Um, don't get me wrong, I'm fully aware of how much of a pain horses are to animate and uh, sculpt and rig and all of that stuff. So, so far, really good looking game. Let me know in the comments your thoughts. Uh, and if you play the game, uh, share some feedback with me as well. Don't forget to leave feedback on the Steam page. Please be very nice. Um, we can all use some constructive criticism every now and again. So far, I'm super impressed with this game. Uh, I am hoping to see, obviously I've literally done like three days. I don't know how many days are in the season. I, If it's following Stardew, it would be about 28. Um, but I'm hoping to see some more gameplay elements as well. I don't know much about this game. I have not read up. Uh, 
Uh, I hope to see like farming. I've heard that there is potential for breeding later on. It's not in the demo though. Um, and I'd like maybe some tweaking of the farm. That could be fun. Uh, but so far, I like it a lot because it's not just been talk to person A, run to person B, run back, do a race. Like it's so far, it feels really fluid. Uh, the graphics, the art style, mwah, beautiful. Sound design is great. I love the music, as I have said. Um, animations could use a little bit of tweaking, but again, uh, and again, my biggest gripe, I think, is with the camera. <laughs> the camera's just not, the camera's not doing it for me when it's, uh, when it's, like, in the backwards mode, because, like, I did, uh, it would make me feel sick. Um, other than that, uh, I'm really, really looking forward to this game, and, uh, big up for, um, from Eloise, because this is, this is really looking great so far. Definitely, if you want to play this game for yourself, go down in the description and click the link to the demo on Steam, and, of course, add the main game to your wish list as well. So, I hope you guys enjoyed, stay positive, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye!